Hey, what's up everybody? Nola Beach here. And I'm coming to you from Lake Pontchartrain because right out here at the lakefront is this old, old lighthouse and I want to go check it out. It's a museum now. Let's go inside and see what it's all about. Lake Pontchartrain and New Orleans will forever be connected to each other. But back in the late 1700s, it was not very easy to access the lake. There was a lot of swampland between New Orleans and the lake, and there were only a couple of ways to get there, such as Bayou Road and Bayou St. John. In 1794, Spanish Governor Hector Carondelet had a canal dug that connected to Bayou St. John from where the French Quarter is. That canal no longer exists, but Basin Street going to Orleans Avenue up to Bayou St. John is the route of the old Carondelet or Old Basin Canal. By 1823, the area where Bayou St. John and Lake Pontchartrain met, also where the old Spanish fort is, turned into a destination for fun. An amusement park, hotel, casino, and more were built there. In 1832, a larger canal began to be dug from around where the Union train station is near the Superdome to the lake at where West End is now. This canal would be called the New Basin Canal to differentiate it from the Old Basin Canal or Carondelet Canal. At the end of the canal, a lighthouse was built in 1838 by Francis Gott. It was an octagonal wooden tower that rested on pilings in the lake, and because it was made of wood, the bottom of the tower rotted within four years of being built and caused it to lean. The original lighthouse would be torn down, and a new square-shaped one-story structure was built on iron pilings in 1855. The lighthouse would be used by the Confederates during the Civil War until 1862, when the Union captured New Orleans. The lighthouse was then used again after the Civil War ended in 1865, and in 1890 it was replaced a third time with a two-story lighthouse, and it would be used up until Hurricane Katrina hit in 2005. In the 1950s, the new Basin Canal was filled in, creating the Pontchartrain Expressway and West End Boulevard. Also during this time, a civil defense fallout shelter was built underground where the canal was filled in. This is what that fallout shelter looks like today. It has long since been abandoned and is filled with nasty, stagnant water and who knows what else. Hurricane Katrina hit in 2005. Katrina demolished the lighthouse and it could not be repaired. In 2007, what was left of the damaged lighthouse was dismantled and the Lake Pontchartrain Basin Foundation salvaged as much as they could of the original lighthouse. In 2013, it reopened as the new Canal Lighthouse Museum and Education Center. The light is still used to guide boats in the area. Near where the canal meets the lake is a memorial dedicated to the Irish immigrants who dug the canal and died while doing it. It was extremely hard work with long hours, and the workers went through outbreaks of cholera, yellow fever, malaria, and many other diseases. They were only paid one dollar per day, and most worked even when sick because they were worried about losing their job. It took six years to finish, and in the process, 
about 8,000 to 20,000 Irish immigrants died. When someone would die, their body was just buried in the levee or roadway next to the canal. The Celtic Cross Memorial reads, In memory of the Irish immigrants who dug the New Basin Canal, 1832 to 1838, this Celtic Cross carved in Ireland has been erected by the Irish Cultural Society of New Orleans. It is a beautiful day out on the lake today. I love the sound of the water hitting against the seawall. Check out this group of ducks hanging out here. What do you call a group of ducks anyway? It's not a gaggle, that's geese. I guess a flock of ducks? <laughs> hey guys! I have no idea what this nasty looking stuff is in the water. It almost looks like it was a huge bag of marshmallows. Gross. Staying in the guidelines, masks are required. The museum is open every day except for Sunday from 10 to 4 and there's an entrance fee but it is worth it. Let's go inside. Seeing the lighthouse up close is pretty incredible. It looks as if the lighthouse is now named after Tom and Gail Benson, the owners of the New Orleans Saints. Rest in peace, Tom. I'm going to walk the ramp up to the side here because I see a huge bell over there that I want to check out. The railing here is holding some life preservers that say save our lake, save our lighthouse, and save our coast. Just under the lighthouse is this bell. The bell was used on the site when it was run by the Coast Guard as a search and rescue base from the 1960s to when it was closed and the bell was donated by the Coast Guard for this display. Over the rail here is what is left of the New Basin Canal. And if we go down to the ground level here, we can see the entrance from the lake to what used to be the New Basin Canal. And this is it right here, not much left, but it's pretty amazing that at least part of it is still in use. Just across from the lighthouse is what is called the Point. It was built in the 1920s and people would come out here to fish or make out or whatever. Unfortunately, it's currently closed. Here's a sign talking about the seawall that was built here in the 1930s, which keeps the land behind it protected from erosion. And here is the lighthouse. This place is awesome. Let's go up and check it out up close. The views up here are amazing. It's nice and breezy up here too. You can really get a good look at what's left of the New Basin Canal from up here. Inside the first floor, which is the only floor we can access, is a cutout of a lady standing next to what would be the railing outside the lighthouse. It's well known that this lighthouse had a record number of female keepers, and she's wearing a mask, which is pretty funny. It's not a very large museum, but being inside this place is really cool knowing the history here. Check out this huge lighthouse lantern. This is from the original lighthouse and dates back to the early 1900s. This sign talks about the Fresnel lens, which is used to divide the lens into concentric sections and disperses the light in a greater way. This shows a bit of the history of the lighthouse and shows some really cool old pictures. And of course, pictures of when it was damaged by Katrina and ultimately rebuilt and relit. A bit about the development of the lakefront with some pictures and how the Orleans levee board was created to upgrade river levees to keep the city protected from flooding. Here's an old picture of the seawall outside from 1931. You can even see a man standing on what would be filled in with land and eventually concrete. And here's a timeline showing the area and explaining how and why the canals were built. The New Basin Canal was built by the New Orleans Canal and Banking Company. The first lighthouse built in 1839, then the second one built not long after in 1855. Then, the third two-story one built in 1890 when West End was turned into a recreation destination. On the wall here, it looks like maybe a sign from a possible fishing camp that was on the lake. It may have been from a camp that was destroyed by Katrina. It's hard to make out what it says. Maybe Camp Anella? Camp Anella? This talks about the women keepers of the lighthouse. The lighthouse assignment was usually given to men, but their wives would help and take over 
when their husbands passed away. Madge Norville was actually a keeper for three different lighthouses. She's remembered for her valiant rescues. While here, she used a rowboat to save a Navy pilot who crashed his biplane into the lake. And in 1926, she helped evacuate and care for 200 passengers from an excursion boat that caught fire near the lighthouse. This display shows how and why the Lake Pontchartrain Basin Foundation tests the water in the lake. They test for water temperature, dissolved oxygen, salinity, and fecal levels. Mmm. And this is one of the devices they use. Pictures here of the Louisiana Barrier Islands before and after Hurricane Katrina and how much of the barrier land was lost. Man, that is crazy. Look at the difference. This shows different ways to provide hurricane protection and keep the wetlands safe. And here are some pictures from the devastation of Hurricane Katrina. It's crazy. New Orleans is still recovering from that storm 15 years later. So much was lost. Check out this stuffed otter munching on a crab. Looks like a pretty delicious meal to me. Well, that's going to do it for me from the New Canal Lighthouse. This place was pretty cool. I recommend you come check it out for yourself. The views are fantastic. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed a little land yap from this hoot at. Go pass a good time.